Hey guys, Kiwi here, and welcome to part 9 of Super Mario Sunshine vs. Oh god, part 9. It's It's been quite a while since um since I've done this, and uh, I guess I'll kind of explain what this is uh, for all the new people, because it's been about... Well, it's been like a month since I've uploaded and commentated a video. It's been about a month and a half since I've actually played and recorded a part. And surprisingly, I did all right. Now, um, during this episode, I was actually on Skype with uh, my friend uh, Matt or Awesome Face Pro. We were talking about some uh, confidential stuff, man. Um, but anyway, so yeah, if if I like <coughs> stop moving for a second or seem kind seem kind of doned out, because I was actually on Twitter too. Uh, and um, well, first of all. What what this what this is is um basically you know uh, I'm playing Super Mario Sunshine. Um, it goes up to like 40 minutes because like well each part you know is supposed to be 30 minutes, but I checked their video and it was 39 minutes. So I was like you know what all right I'll just I'll just make mine you know about 40 minutes. Um, so then what actually I actually ended up getting like. Uh, 16, 17, like 12 shine sprites along with all of the uh, blue coins for Serena Beach. Now, um, last episode, I stupidly um forgot to get the second secret like red coin mission, and instead I just got like the first one and moved str moved straight on to the uh moved straight on to the hundred coin mission, and I was sitting here for about like. 10 minutes wondering why the hell it was that for the list of shine sprites the uh, 100 coins the 100 coin shine was the 50th fit no 56th shine that you're supposed to get and yet I only had 55 and then I finally like rewatched my whole video I was like wait a minute I skipped the second one so that's what I'm doing here and um as I'm recording this uh Saturday I think it's like October 1st um Episode 12 of Super Mario Sunshine vs. just came out, and I mean, like, now that I think about it, I should really start get catching up, because apparently, uh, someone's finished already at, like, 11 parts, and I mean, like, considering that total, I mean, like, granted, I only started doing this, um, when they were on, like, part 5 or 6, but they've, in total, they've probably skipped, like, 5 or 6 weeks, so... Theoretically, I should be caught up to them, and if I'm doing as good as I think I will, I should be finished the game by now. Like, this series should be over, but I'm just a lazy asshat, and decided not to do it. And, um, I just finished watching Part 12, and apparently, like, there's a way to glitch into doing this. And I kind of find it funny how, um, for uh, Josh Jepson, at least, like, I'm, I'm in the same part that he's at, except I'm on Part nine and he's on part 12 so yeah it's just, it's just amazing you know uh, I, I totally lost my train of thought and there all oh, right I forgot god I just got distracted for a second I totally forgot um so yeah it's like I'm doing part nine he's doing part 12 that that makes me like what like nine ten like two hours ahead of him pretty much uh not to mention the fact that i um, like sure he does have a hundred and thirty something blue coins like they they both do but i've gotten like every single uh blue coin up until it's like i i don't have to go back and get any blue coins after i get all the shine sprites because i've already gotten it them however they're gonna have to like use a guide and like go back and get like like, it's gonna be a pain for them. They're gonna have to, like, rewatch their videos. And nice glitch there. Uh, they're gonna have to, like, rewatch their videos and, like, or just trying to. Oh, by here, this is a close call. Like, oh my god. Oh, jeez, I just made that. Um, yeah, they're gonna have to, like, go back and watch their old videos or something. Like, figure out which blue coins they've gotten and which ones they haven't. And then they're gonna have to, like, you know, do that. Meanwhile, I'm just collect all the blue con kinds yes I collect all the blue kinds in a uh, level at once so I don't have to you know go ahead and do all that crap but um 
now that I think about it, this is this is probably about my fourth time recording this uh, this not not the commentary but the gameplay. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is post commentary. Uh, I actually had to like raid up to after I got this shine. Um, I I've probably re-recorded like this is probably like my fourth or fifth time. Reason being is because well, after I get this shine, I go back in Serena Beach and get like the twenty something blue coins that I haven't gotten and uh, and what happens is there's like three or four blue coins that you have to get outside the like hotel and what I did like the first three times is I was like talking to Matt or something I wasn't paying attention and I just ran straight up to the guy and started talking to him so I had to re like restart and like yeah that I actually did that like three times well not the first time I died on the secret mission, and then the other two times I just failed. Um, I believe I actually do that. I think I miss. I think I forget to get like one blue coin. Um, so and then I go into the hotel, and then I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna come back for it later. So that's what I actually do. I actually get the rest of the blue coins for now, and then as I get skyped, and then I actually end up having to go back and get all the blue coins all over again. No, not all the blue coins. I have to get that one blue coin all over again. And who am I getting Skype by? Oh, hi, Matt. Cool story, bro. He just said I do what I want. Alright, cool story, bro. Any whore. So, um, I totally lost my train of thought. So, I guess I'm gonna go ahead. Alright, uh, I totally... I, I'm pretty sure I've explained this before. But, uh, I, I kind of want to mention that, uh, like, what I do in order to, like get all the blue coins like I don't memorize all of the blue coins at once like I don't memorize each step at once what I actually do is I go to IGN on one computer which would be my Mac and then on the PC which is the one I'm currently recording right now uh, I go to Chugga Conroy's blue coin videos and then what I do is since IGN has pictures of where each blue coin is what I do is I go through Chugga Conroy's video and I download the blue coin pictures or more drag and drop to my Mac desktop so that I don't really have to you know download it I just drag and drop it but and I'll use download just as a term I, I download the pictures in order that Chugga Conroy sorry I just like moved my headset there um, I get the blue coins in the order that Chugga Conroy gets in his Let's Play. Except except for the fact, obviously, I for the ones that I've already gotten. I mean, like, I may mix it up, like, one or two, because it would be convenient to get, like, uh, say, say Chugga Conroy gets, uh, blue coins one, then two, then three. Well, maybe it would be faster for me to get two, one, and then three, because... 2, 1, and then 3 is kind of like in a straight line, but if I get 1, 2, and 3, I'd have to backtrack, and if, if that makes sense. Uh, but, yeah, so once I download all the pictures in order, what I do is I basically put them all, all the pictures in order in a folder, and then I zoom up a lot. So while I'm actually recording this on my PC, I can look at my Mac, and I look at the folder, and, there, and that, that's my list, a uh, bunch of pictures, because... The reason why I do this is because I absolutely f fucking hate the text like walkthroughs because like sometimes the text walkthroughs are so like vague or like like what they're saying you just can't understand and instead of so like and then you're like well why don't you just watch Sugar Conroy's video while you're recording well every single time I go to the new like I get a blue coin I have to pause and wait for the video to like cuz it shows him collecting the blue coin before it mo he moves on to the next one obviously right so i have to wait until he collects the blue coin or i have to like stop playing and then go and uh scroll through the video to until i get to the next blue coin so it, it and like you'd be like well that's like 5 seconds yeah well 5 times 30 you know it adds up to like a few minutes and um so you know you don't want to go ahead and waste that much time because that time could be another shine sprite right there 
But, um, anyways, I don't really know what else to talk about. I mean, you know, we're just collecting blue coins. Apparently, <coughs> apparently there you can't uh, spray the boo poster from the wrong side. And, um, something that I can't, I, I, I guess I kind of thought of something that I want to talk about. Um, the reason why I'm getting all of these blue coins in Mission 7, by the way, here I forgot that I got those blue coins already. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is Mission 7 is because, unlike all the other missions, <coughs> this one, about here, I was, like, on Twitter or something, I, I don't even know. Um, here I just leave the area and go back and get that one, uh, blue coin that's outside the hotel, but, um, anyways, as I was saying, the reason why I got all those shines in Episode 7 is because for Episode 7, like, all the doors are open for some reason to, like, all the hotel rooms, so you don't have to go through, like, the whole, <clears throat> like, the secret of Hotel Delfino crap in order just to get to the rooms. You can just, you know, walk right in. And you don't have to go to, like, the vent shafts to go to, like, the other rooms and whatnot. So I think that's, uh, pretty convenient, but here, since I, uh, Got like a derp, uh, the, it's underneath here, and um, apparently, according to Chuck Connor, the uh, like the outside area of Serena Beach represents not, not, uh, I think it's, I think it's IGN that said this, but like the uh, the uh, the outside of Serena Beach. Oh, by the way, here I'm going to the next area, Noki Bay. Um, represents like a Nintendo GameCube controller because it says like. Underneath the hut that represents the C stick on a GameCube controller, so I'm like, okay then. Anywho, we are uh, in the next area, which is Noki Bay. Now, um, Noki Bay, it it seems like it's designed for people that don't have the hover nozzle. Like, there isn't a level in this game or this mission, this area that where you don't have the hover nozzle. But for whatever reason, there's like platforms and whatnot that you that like basically make it so that you can wall jump and spin jump and whatnot and get around the le level without the hover nozzle I, I don't know why but there are I guess like they want to bring platforming into the game at once and um uh, I like well these are these like puke slime balls they're like <coughs> just they're the I don't even know what they are. They're just like huge balls of paint, and you only see them like once in the game. But then again, there's lots of features that you only see once in the game. God damn it! Damn it! Those things pissed me off so much. I, I don't know why that little that little cock block. I'm not sure how that was a cock block, but that little cock block, like blocking me from getting cock. What? Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get off that subject. But anyways, you prepare to see like the weirdest formed waterfall <clears throat> in the history of mankind. Wait, wait for it. And then, like, I understand the water was like is like pressurized or whatever, and the water is moving really fast, so it's not like it's just gonna flow down the side of the mountain. But like it. It, it's, it looks like a hose, like, you know whenever you use a garden hose or whatever, like, outside? Um, <clears throat> when the water comes out of the hose, it's like, or even, like, when you use, like, a, when you you have a sink, and you turn on the water, it all, like, the water, you know, comes out kind of like, uh, the same form that the hose or the faucet was, right? And that's, like, that that's how the waterfall is, and I don't know, it, that waterfall just looks incredibly weird to me. Uh, it, it's not natural, so that's all I'm going to say. And, um, so, something that's kind of interesting about this, uh, about this level, just like the, uh, the dirty waters in, um, back, I can't remember the name of the level, the first level, by Bi Bianca Hills, pretty sure it was, um, the dirty waters for that one mission, um, if you swim on the top, you're, you're going to get hurt, sorry if you can hear my Xbox, um, if you... If you like swim on the surface, you're gonna get hurt. But if you swim underneath, you don't get hurt. It's kind of like if someone placed oil, and my dog's barking. It's kind of like if you placed oil on water and then lit that oil on fire. Like the top would be, you know, you'd get hurt obviously if you swam in it. Oh my God, my dog's barking. God damn it! 
But anyways, yeah, it's, it's like you, you'd get hurt if you swim on the top, but as long as you don't drown, you can swim underneath and be perfectly fine. Um, that was a terrible example, but I think that's just kind of funny how badly Nintendo, like, incorporate that. They just be like, well, no one would have ever thought to go underneath, right? Why, why would you think to swim underneath it if you get hurt in general? They, they, they'll never think that. Besides, making all the water in the level hurt you would be way too much effort. Oh, and here, um, since I haven't played the game in like uh, <clears throat> a month and a half, what I actually did was I actually did a practice run of getting all the blue coins and then all of Noki Bay. And, like... I got, I killed this guy on my first try, like, no, yeah, since this is a repeat boss, you know, he has, like, kind of, like, two stages, like, you get kill him once, and then he comes back. I killed him both times on, like, my first try without destroying, ripping off, like, any of his limbs. I know that sounds bad, but that's pretty much what this boss fight is. Um, so, yeah, I got on my first try, and what you have to do is, like, you have to like, make it so that he tries to hit you, and then you have to start pulling his nose while, like, his, uh, I, I tried to do it there. You have to, like, pull his nose while his, uh, eyes are still kind of, like, purple so that it doesn't. As you see right here, I'm, like, pulling his nose and it's not doing anything. You have to do it, like, while he's doing something else. Oh, wait, re real quick right here. Look, like, his limbs right there. Did you see that? Like, his tentacles weren't even attached to his body. Um, but... Anyways, so as I was saying before, you have to, like, make sure, like, his eyes are purple so that he doesn't recognize you pulling on his nose. And, uh, here, I'm like, eh, I don't want to have to go through all of that, come back all the way up here, and then go all the way down, so I'm just getting all the blue coins. I believe there's, like, two blue coins in these pots, and then that's it. I believe if you come down here in missions where it's not, like, the one with the shine spray, it's, like, just a one up there. <clears throat> so I guess if you want a really annoying way to farm one ups, go right ahead. Uh, but that's pretty much it for that mission. But you think that's the end of the let's? That's the end of mission. <laughs> I cannot speak. <sighs> God, Noki Bay. It's like it's a beautiful level, but at the same time, it's probably my least favorite level because there's so many missions that I hate. Like. That one right there, that one was okay. I didn't like the first one. Oh, uh, what's the next one here? <clears throat> Red coins in the ball. I absolutely hate this one. I absolutely hate the underwater controls in this game when you have Flood. Like, for whatever reason, they couldn't have just made it like the regular underwater controls. Like, I don't get it. Like, you know, like when you're regularly underwater and how you can use like Flood underwater and whatnot? Why didn't they just make it like that? They made it so stupid where, like, you can't actually swim. The only thing that you can do is use the fucking flood. Like, look at this. Like, you can't, you can't even swim. You just kind of have to, like, hover there and then use the hover nozzle. And it's, it's the most retarded thing ever. Like, I remember someone was, uh, <clears throat> like, they were in, like, they were, like, comparing this game to Super Mario 64, and they were, like, dude, the swimming in this game absolutely fucking sucks. And I was, like, you know, I, I don't think that, you know, that the swimming's alright, there's nothing wrong with the swimming, but then, then I'm, like, wait a minute, he's talking about, like, segments like this, when you're underwater with, like, the fishbowl over your head, and then you have to, uh, you know do this and um for people yes there i didn't show off that book like easter egg mostly because i don't want to waste time doing it i mean when i actually lp this game in the future like a regular let's play i will be showing off like more interesting <coughs> crap than just you know trying to speed run it but um thank god that's it for this um one but no I actually end up 100% completing um, Nico Bay. Well, obviously, besides the uh, the blue coins, I'm gonna do that next episode. But I I I honestly don't know what to talk about. I mean, I I don't know. I'm just I'm just not really in the recording moon. Like I I wanted to record this because I've gone so many weeks without, and I don't want. Like, I don't want attacking Toucans and Josh Jepsen to be done before I am, right? So, 
And just, just the fact, well, they probably won't. I'll probably be done by, like, around, like, episodes 10 to 13, somewhere around there. Um, is my guess. Yeah, because, like, next, next episode, I'm going to be getting all the blue coins for, uh, Nico Bay. And then I'm going to be doing the last level. And then the, which would be episode 10, then episode 11. I think I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> get all the blue coins in, um... In the last level, and then get all the blue coins and shine sprites in um, Bionka Hills. And I'm getting Skyped, but yeah, I'd be doing that. And then I, I should be done by like episode 12. That's that's what I'm guessing. But you know, I'll just leave that for you know when I get to that point. That's like what I'm guessing is going to happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen exactly like that but you know what we'll see so um <clears throat> this mission right here I'd like to mention that I'm sure all of you like to know that uh, there's there's so many stupid things with this mission so first of all I just want to mention the it's like the eel or hermaphrodite because if you look you know there's like two sets of eyes on each side of the mouth it's like one set's a boy and the other set's a girl so no whatever but um Okay, so this guy, th this eel, has dirty teeth, and we need to use our water in order to destroy, uh, I mean, clean his teeth. So, you see how there's, like, bubbles? I, th those are, like, the, um, I guess, that's, like, all the crap that's, you know, mutating or making the water poisonous, but... Then again, you know, like the water that we're in right now isn't poisonous, and we're cleaning his teeth with water, which is all around him. And why does he have like a brown tooth that it just kind of looks like it's like a filling, you know, like when you go into uh, the dentist and you have a cavity, and then like you get filling. You usually it's silver, but I don't know. It's just, just kind of weird for me. And, um, once again, here I was, uh, talking to Matt, so I wasn't, I was, like, kind of, like, half paying attention. But, um, for whatever reason, I, like, almost finished, like, each teeth, and I just decided to move on to the next one. And, um, you know, I, I do think I did pretty good this episode. I mean, you know, the episode was 40 minutes long, but I still think that I did good, considering that... I only practice. well, I did do a practice run, but even for my, I think I actually did better in my practice run than I did in this recording, like, I think that this boss fight only took like two or three minutes, I mean, I pretty much got the same amount of stuff done, uh, I didn't like, get any shines in the next area done on my practice run that I didn't do in this episode, and by the way there I'm like, NO BUBBLES! Um, but, anyways, so, something I want to talk about, if you know, if any of you guys know who Big Dip on a Bus is, um, he's, uh, one of my favorite Let's Players. He actually did a, uh, Let's Play of this game, where he did it, uh, pretty much 100%, except for, like, one or two shines, and, like, maybe one or two, uh, uh, blue coins, and... He, uh, he did this coinless, like this, this, uh, this, this episode coinless, like this mission, and how he did it is like, you know, when you pop the bubbles, you get oxygen, and that's, I don't know, I just think that's like extremely difficult, at least for me, there's probably some pro is like, man, what are you, you're so stupid, man, I, I can do that any day. Any time, but I'm like, you know, yeah, I, I <laughs> look at Flood freaking out. Um, it, it, Flood's going into like my upside down bowl, which, by the way, I know Nintendo Logic. This is meant for you know younger kids, and it's not meant to for people to try and give logic. But why? I mean, like, have you has it ever have it have you like ever tried to like put like something over your head, like a huge like bowl or something and then like go underwater like the the air does stay there and apparently that's how like you know ancient people used to like try and go underwater or something I don't, I don't know but apparently for uh, Mario 
he has like infinite oxygen and whatnot. So that's yeah, that's pretty cool. But um, oh Alpiantissimo, what a joke this guy is. You know, you know it's bad where and like you think you get screwed over, but then it accidentally ends up helping you. Like you just wait a minute, wait for me to go through the dialogue, <coughs> and then wait for it. Oh, wait. Okay, so I screw up here, right? I'm like, damn it, damn it, damn it. But he hits his head, and then I get bitch slapped by that thing, and actually, foot. I'm like, fish, 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 fish. <laughs> it, that guy, that like thing that bitch slapped me, actually like put me halfway across the race. Not to mention that somehow Ilpi Antissimo like hit his head on something when he did like a dolphin dive off of the uh, off the top there. And here I'm just like waiting for him. It's like really. I, I, if this, this, this is a joke. I mean, I'm going to admit, I did lose once or twice when I very first got this game, but, you know, I, it, it could be challenging for, like, uh, kids on, uh, like, their first time playing it, but it's, it's, I don't know, it's fine for me. And, um, yeah, at 61, I believe I get, like, 67 shines of this. So yeah, I complete Rico Harbor and then I get uh there's actually one shine in Delfina Plaza that um attacking two cans and jo well just Gypsum accidentally got it, so then attacking two cans got it. And I'm like, eh, I have like a minute left, I might as well get that too, so you'll see me get that at the very end. Um and let's see here, this shell secret. Now most people think that this is really difficult. I myself don't really think that. I mean, oh god, when I, like, my first time I played this game, this was, like, my second least favorite. <laughs> oh my god, I hated it so much. I used to die all the time. But that's before I was really, like, you know, good at video games in general. And, uh, I think that's what Nintendo is expecting, you know, when, uh, when you very when like people get this game they're usually like nine or eight years old or something like that and then they try to um you know they 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 try to play the game but they're not very good at games in general you know so that in the it, it boggles me you know some some like ten year old kid who you know isn't very good at solving puzzles could figure something out and say Zelda that you know a guy who plays video games all the time is like what but anyways so let's just go oh I almost fell off there I think um this this was I don't know why this this level isn't really that difficult right right here I was lucky I like got on the top of it um yeah I this this level really lucky I never really you know, thought this was difficult, like, ever since, like, the year after I got this game, like, by my second, no, by, by like, my third playthrough of this game, I, pretty much all the secret missions, by the way, right here, in my practice run, I figured out that you could actually, like, run up there, I was wondering, like, every time I play this game, I've been wondering why that's there, and then, finally, I figure out, oh, wait, you can run up that, but then what's the point of that, like, one jump rope? Because I, I always used to, like, jump on the jump rope and then jump up there, but I guess you can just run up there. So, um, and we're almost already done with this level. This level is so incredibly easy. Not to say that I've never had difficulties on it before, but now, looking back on it, all these secret missions are easy. I mean, like, I'm... I, I have died. It's not like I've never died on these. It's not like I've the first time I've tried them. I've been an MLG pro, but on this 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 platform always gets. Oh, there! I thought I was dead. Um, this platform already always like reminds me, or I I always remember it. It's like you always have to side jump to the next platform. And the next platform, we're just going around in circles the opposite direction that it's going. I don't know. I used to really think that platform was fun, was good, and um, I got there's 62 shines, and that's not all because we're gonna have to end up coming back here to get the you know, like red coin mission, but that's actually easier because like it you, you don't have to go to the end of the mission in order to get the shot. I'll I'll explain it later. It's it's kind of like in a uh, Peanut Park that Yoshi's uh, merry-go-round one, I think it was, 
where for the red coins um like it ended like a few platforms away from the actual original shine it, it does that for this one too but i believe this one is shadow mario yeah i i like how he was like doing the sweat animation you know he was wiping his forehead or something like uh, like mario does just goes to show that he has like the exact same model as mario um you knew that before but whatever so let's see here this this is probably the most annoying mission like mar shadow mario chase <clears throat> uh, mostly because there's like so little time that you can actually get him because like not difficult as in like oh my god this is so difficult it's more annoying and there yeah that that just happened i just fell um yeah i, I can't believe that i fell there <laughs> the first time i did i was like really really but um anyways yeah this like you can usually only hit them like once because you you platform so much like right here is probably the easiest place to hit them because he like jumps over that platform which is pointless there's, a, there's another really easy part but like usually you're just always platforming and going up once again this area which for some reason Nintendo made it so that you can you go it without like having the hover and also I guess they did that for Shadow Mario or else he'd just be like swimming around the whole time but still um so he jumps on and then and then you have to here I thought I was just gonna ground pound but then I forgot you have to kinda like do a leap of faith and then into the water he goes and apparently our water can kill him but it is like because our water is pressurized or something but and then we got the famous you have to wait 30 seconds for the shine sprite to go up and back down before you can actually collect it. <laughs> um, Alright, there's 63 shines. We only got like really two more shines and then the other two shines take like a minute each. So, oh my god, but we still got like eight more minutes. Alright, it's okay. I can, I can do the rest of this commentary. It's all good. Alright, so next mission is the... Um, well, you'll see. Um, now, for this mission and the Ely Mouth mission, you're actually intended to. You see that guy right there, where the uh, kind of like where you fought the cannon dude. You're supposed to go up there and talk to him, and he tells you to go down there. Like this one, he's like, "Oh, we have a gift for you. Just go down to the underwater, and you'll be able to see." But um, you can actually, as I've done with the Ely Mouth, where you can just kind of like do this and like you don't have to go into the cutscene in order to activate it <clears throat> but oh god this this is my favorite music of the game um if like i actually did a minecraft video uh on minecraft stars for all those people that came from minecraft stars i uh did a video on that or, no I, I did a video on minecraft where it's basically like a five minute water slide and um what I did is since I didn't want to have commentary the whole time I put this music in the background and no one believed that this was actually you know Mario music like this music is so I always sound like a pussy but this music is really beautiful I don't I, I really like oh by the way red coin goes into the fucking ground you know that's if coins always tend to go into grounds whether you're in gelato beach or here but I'm um, here. I'm like fish, fish, fishy fuck, fishy fuck, fishy fuck. I was actually, I was actually saying that exact thing because I'm in, a, I was in a Skype call with Matt at the time when I was recording this. But um, anyway, so yeah, back to the video. I actually, the water slide video in the background. Uh, this, this um song was playing. If if you guys actually want to check that out, I if I remember, I'll put the uh, link to that video in the description. It was it was originally uploaded to a community channel called Minecraft Stars. It got like. I know it's like somewhere in between I think it's like 10 it's somewhere in between 10,000 and 20,000 views I can't remember but and it was originally uploaded as unlisted to my channel I just like recently made it public because I'm like eh, there's really no point to have it unlisted I don't want to delete it because you know what if cuz I actually lost the world for that because uh when my computer had, like the hard drive crashed and I lost everything so I lost the world 
and I wanted to keep the video up, you know, just in case, say the video on Minecraft Stars goes down, I still want to, you know, be able to show people it if I really want, so I, I guess I'll put that in the description, and, um, oh, I forgot, we have to, uh, do the, what am I doing here, oh, okay, yeah, I have to do the, uh, red coin mission, I totally forgot about that, but I do that after I do this, and what am I doing here, well, notice how there's only one secret level, in this mission um so usually what um n they they do is if a level only has one secret mission for example i believe gelato beach was one of them they they put like something like another secret channel like this one uh totally optional you know just like the uh secret or, like red coins are but they always like make it so even though there isn't two secret levels there's still like another optional one i believe that you know this one has the bluebird um what what did the other one have the uh, gelato beach had like a shine sprite thing you had to spray the last uh area of the game uh pinata village has another shine sprite thing that you have to spray you know there's just a few ones that don't have two secret areas and then they just put some else but um Next, we let's say I gotta adjust my headset here. <clears throat> um, if I get a bit louder, that's why. But um, next, uh, I I totally lost my train of thought. Um, I I I totally lost my train of thought. Well, we're uh, doing the shell secret red coins, which you know is easy, just time consuming. Basically, the <sighs> that should be the uh, like meme of the not the meme, the slogan is that is that the right word the slogan of this game the missions are easy but time consuming oh my god this is a game i love this game so much for some reason i i don't even know why i just really like this game <laughs> i always really i don't know i always like kind of like the black sheeps of zelda of not zelda of uh, nintendo games like for mario it's sunshine which most people seem to hate or just don't even notice my favorite Zelda game is Minish Cap, which most people don't tend to notice. Well, technically, my favorite 2D Zelda game is Minish Cap, and my favorite 3D Zelda game is Majora's Mask. The only reason I say that is because I can't really choose in between them. I just love them a lot. But, alright, so let's see here. Red Coin Mission. I've already talked about this. You know, it's easy. And, um, the first, like, Four times I played through this game. I never used like a hundred percent walkthrough, so I never knew that these red coin missions ever existed. And then I think it was like 2008 or something like that. And I was on YouTube, and I for whatever reason I was searching like speed runs of games, and I came across this Mario speed run, and it was like, what? There's red coin missions because I was I was looking at some red coin speed runs. And uh, I was like, what, there's red coin missions in the secret areas? And the guy replied, he was like, yeah, man, if you uh, go back to the uh, mission after you've completed it, you can do an optional shine, which is uh, red coins. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's cool. It, oh, by the way, there, for whatever reason, on every single time you get this shine, it, like, glitches out and doesn't show, like, the rest of the background pro... Uh, the rest of the background... But uh, anyways, there we go. We go ahead and get to that shine. And why couldn't I figure out? No, it's it's like the background platform. Why why couldn't I remember what that was called? It doesn't show the background platform when the shine sprite cutscene appears there. Was so that so difficult to figure out? I just had like a major brain fart for some reason. But this is pretty much it for this episode. Thank God. Um. And next episode, we will be going, we'll be getting all the uh, blue coins for Nico Bay, and probably uh, doing most, if not all, of uh, the next area, Pinata Village is, um, Pinata Village is Shine Sprites. Jeez, I'm having so many brain farts. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for, uh, for this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next episode. And I show my record for good measure. Alright guys, see you later. Bye.